Hi, this is Adrian with Cisco TAC. I will be presenting a video on cluster security mode status and the CTL file. Tokenless CTL is a new feature in CUCM versions 10.0.1 and later that allows the encryption of call signaling and media for IP phones without the need to use hardware USB E tokens and the CTL client plugin, which was a requirement in previous CUCM releases. If the cluster security mode of the cluster is set to 1, then the CTL file will be used to validate IP phone connections to CUCM servers. You can check the cluster security mode by navigating to CUCM Administration, System, Enterprise Parameters, Security Parameters section. You can also check this from the CLI by running the following command. If the value of the cluster security mode is zero, then the cluster is not in mixed mode. If there is a CTL file found on a server while the cluster is not in mixed mode, this means that the cluster was once in mixed mode, then moved back to non-mixed mode, and the CTL file was not deleted from the cluster. Run the command show CTL to determine if the CTL file is created. The following command can be used to delete the CTL file from nodes in the CUCM cluster. However, the command needs to be entered on each node. To be clear, you would only use this command as needed if your servers have a CTL file and the cluster is not in mixed mode. After running the show CTL command again, you would see the following output that verifies the CTL file does not exist on the CUCM nodes. If the cluster security mode of the cluster is 1, then the cluster is in mixed mode. Continue on with the video Update Tokenless CTL on Cisco Unified Communications Manager for instances when the CTL file would need to be updated. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it has been helpful.